bed, they'll be holding hands, they'll be faces red. I really am in your foot 'cause my place was close. I see you're drunk and me almost. Won't say much 'cause the truth will hurt, but you can keep your mixtape and the t-shirt. Really gotta rest, gotta get some sleep, but you keep leaning in, keep whispering. But I, I ain't even here. I'm just sitting here in the Grab the rail. Grab the rail. Grab the rail. Yes. Okay. Wait. 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 Hang on. Mind if I call you Steve? Whatever. All right. This is your corner of my desk. We have to share budget cuts, thanks to the department. And I've got your bloody forms coming out my ass. This one from the parole board wants me to assess your long-term goals and aspirations. Bloody waste of paper. I don't even know what I'm having for morning tea. You'll always have some clients won't eat the stuff, and then one day you notice they've got a very fat cat or dog. Anyway, you collect the meals from here, ready made, ready labelled. Are you listening? She's one of your regulars, Signora Francesca Amore. Frankie, you'll keep you laughing. Come on, let's go and meet my boss, the filing cabinet.
Mobile canteen. Mobile canteen! <laughs> Do you want it or not? Ah! To the kitchen! Just plug them on the table. Nice design. Not often we get visitors. Cup of tea? It's all part of the job description, isn't it? Cup of tea, chat with the clients. No, thanks. All right, we'll see you next time. No, no, no. Stay, please. How's Peggy? Peggy Sue. Oh, Peggy. Do you like Buddy Holly? I don't know him. Neither do I. Do you like magic? I don't know. Messieurs et mesdames, je vais vous montrer a very simple illusion qui est la preuve absolue that that which is, is not. Huh? And so qui n'est pas, is. My name is Roberto Giovanni Lorenzo Maldini. But you can call me Rodney. <laughs> My mama. Maybe she's hungry. Maybe. All right, well, um, I'll leave you to it. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Towel bag. You and Tommy. He been fucking you. Shit, Stevie. Three and a half years is a long time. I'm not seeing him anymore. Not now you're home.
Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. Buongiorno, signora. You right? Just resting. Would you like the next dance? <laughs> Can you? <laughs> Can you help me get her back into the wheelchair? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, she always was a bit frisky. Yeah. Come on, Mama! Come on! Oh, 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 come on over here! Over here! <laughs> Mama, this is Stephen, our new mobile canteen man. And this is Mama, Signora Francesca Amore. Or Frankie, if you want. You know? But you can shake a hand, it won't come off. <laughs> her movement comes and goes. I, uh, I was going to give her a bath. Ah, but all this activity, it's worn me out. Maybe you'd like to bathe Mama. Um, I, I don't reckon. Well, she's really no trouble. She, she just lies there enjoying herself, all the attention. Drying her can be a little tricky if you're a bit squeamish. Don't take it so personally. I, I, I actually have to go. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be late for your next delivery. Peggy Sue can get a bit cranky. Yeah. All right, sorry. Um, okay. You told me you'd stop saying it. You weren't the one left behind. You weren't the one when the police fucking they wouldn't let me go! <laughs> I told you that! You took him away from me! <laughs> Fucking say it! Say it! It's my fault, isn't it? Stevie, I lost the boat of you that night. Oh, shit. 
I am so sorry, Roddy. I had no idea you were bathing, Frankie. No, 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 it's all right. Come in, come in, sit down. But she, had, she hasn't got any clothes on, mate. That's because she's having a bath, Stephen. Oh, no! What's up? Nothing. Come on, come in, sit down. She may be old and wrinkly, but uh, she's never been ashamed of her body. Come on! She's off with the gods. Painkillers. Some days are better than others. You'd never know it was the same person. Your um, bills are there on the kitchen table. They want me to put her in a nursing home. A prison for unwanted mamas and papas. Imagine. She'd rather be dead. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, I'm gonna tell Peggy. Uh, I know. Chocolate, banana, strawberry, caramel, vanilla, aniseed, rambutan. I cater for all tastes here. Yeah. Malted banana with chocolate. <laughs> Easy as one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, what about your mum? Hi. How'd you do that? <laughs> Madame! Mm. Hey, hey, hey. Mm. Monsieur, may I just mention, it seems all your attention has brought Madame Amore back for an encore. <laughs> she should be in a nursing home. The other morning she was waltzing around the house with Stephen. And the community nurse tells me you've asked for another prescription of morphine. How else am I supposed to get through the day? <laughs> you spend too much time immersed in the affairs of the decrepit and the dying, Peg. You do pretty well out of us, Rodney. Yeah, you're right. When we kick the bucket, it won't be because we starved to death. Oh, so I'll tell Steve's parole manager that he's kept both of you very well fed then, will I? Oh, speaking of food, Stephen, Frankie and I would like you to join us for dinner tonight. Sure. Uh, we're going out. I'm already going out. Well, where? To dinner. Well, who with? Someone I deliver meals to. I just thought that maybe you might want to come with us. Oh, I said I'd go. I want to go. Okay. We'll be at Bindi's. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Have fun. Yeah, thank you. Frankie won't be joining us tonight. She's having an early night. But you never know. Too long if you ask Peggy Sue and the department. 
besides the post-polio syndrome and the hardening of the arteries in the brain and the dementia, arthritis, the morphine and the strokes or brain attacks, I think they call them now, she's in excellent condition. What about you, Dad? <laughs> questions, questions, so many questions. The story of my dad, Vincenzo Maldini. Or you can call him Enzo. Theatrical producer and circus entrepreneur. Art time, financier, wheeler and dealer. Big time, Casanova. Full time, very Italian. Cousins in Musselbrook, you know. My mother, Signora Francesca Amore, was a very famous Italian cabaret artiste. And he was her personal manager and lover. We were on an international tour. Sometime in the 60s, 70s, I think it was. Europe, South America, Asia, Sydney, the Harbour Bridge, Opera House, packed houses, glowing reviews, success after success after success. Then Mama is struck by illness, bitten by a mosquito, they say. Probably from Musselbrook. The tour ends. Vincenzo travels back to Milano to set up the deal to end all deals. A national homecoming tour for Madame Francesca Amore. <laughs> that was a long time ago. And Frankie is convinced that he's coming back for her. Why didn't she just go back on her own? My mamma is a very, very proud and stubborn woman. Besides, she got sicker and I had to look after her and all became very tiring. The end. Saved by the bell. Mama's dead. Dad and I... We never got on, you know. I never really knew my father either. In fact, the only thing I have to show for Vincenzo Maldini is This. He gave it to Frankie, and she never lets it out of her sight. She says, I can have it when he comes back for her. When will that be? <laughs> Who knows? But the show must go on. It's, it's very valuable. It's Italian. I nostri sogni rimangono in eterno. VM. Nostri sogni rimbagnio in eterno. Yeah, very nice. What kind of man does that make you, eh? The kind of man that leaves his mate to die like a dog on the side of the road? <laughs> oh, oh, you filthy Oh. 
Bonjour. I didn't realize delivering meals could be so dangerous. Votre chocolat hot. Ah, thanks. This used to be my room. I always had sweet dreams in this bed. Un letto. Or le lit. Do you mind if I stay? As long as you want. Tu peux être notre special guest. Thanks. <laughs> How do you learn all those languages? Ah, well. When Signora Francesca Amore sang and danced her way across Europe, I tip tapped behind. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Io ho imparato presto. But she was always the star, even when I was on stage with her. She even danced with His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. Mr. si tu no tristoire. Don't you get tired of doing all this stuff? You know, all these funny voices and... Stuff. No, it's like flying a kite <laughs> up and away, high in the sky, like an eagle. <laughs> You're fucking mad. You're a kid. Make belief the stuff of dreams. <laughs> I don't have very good dreams. Don't take it so personally, Stephen. Some people say that life is just one bad dream wedged between waking up and waking up. <laughs> but I don't believe that bullshit. Nobody tells me what to dream. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. You need help, Suze. You could help me? I can't even help myself. There's somebody that I need to find. I'm sure that Tommy knows him. Do you think you can ask Tommy without him, you know, getting suspicious? What's his name? We all knew him as Raven. Why do you need to see him? Can you help me find him? Yeah. <laughs> Community health and palliative care. Watch your back, Steve, and the vultures are circling. Apparently, they don't approve of of Frankie mowing the lawns. Hey, you're just in time for our afternoon walk. Could you grab that barrel of manure and bring it down here for us? Yep. Ta. <sighs> ah, you're a good man. One man's shit is another man's fertilizer, Stephen. Say that card to Mama. Is it all right with Frankie and me staying? Ask her yourself. Go on.
Mama. I think that means you can stay. Stephen, the pink syrup in the top drawer. It's all right, Mama. I know. Please, the morphine, thirty mils. She only says ten. She'll take thirty. Enzo's coming home. <laughs> Just like old times, full of surprises. <laughs> What are you dreaming about? Peg. She'll spew. You're right. We should have asked her to come along. Mirror <laughs> <laughs> uh... ball was turning. Its stars were spinning round. You and I were dancing, I could hardly feel the ground. We thought we'd laugh forever and dream our lives away. Above the pain, above the clouds, till we were old and grey. And we danced for love. 
love and joy we dance our whole lives through we dance and dream forever until our dreams came true Frankie's theme song all over the world they play it for her as she walked out on stage and I'd watch from the wings and sing every word with her and one night she called me to come out on stage with her I'll never forget the look on her face so radiant so happy her eyes just shone and I walked out and it was like floating on a cloud on a clear summer's day and the audience cheered and stomped and clapped it was exhilarating the noise was deafening and she put her arms around me and whispered your daddy and I are so proud of you my dearest I would have done anything on earth for her that night. And then she picked me up and we danced the rest of the song together. I didn't want it to end. What if you'd smashed the ute up? What if somebody got hurt and the police had to report it? I suppose you let Frankie have a drive. Look, don't you let him carry you away with all his crap. You're still on parole. Don't forget it. He's not going to carry me away anywhere. It's not like anyone I've ever met. Oh, bet. Well, I like him. I'm going to be staying at his place for a while. You tell me you were staying with mates. He's one of my mates. Peg, can you do me a favour? One of my mates, Susie, she's in a bit of trouble. And I was wondering if you could talk to her, you know, about where she can get some help. Sure, I can do that. And what about doing me a favour? What about talking to your other mate about getting his mum into an aged care facility? You look stuffed. Frankie's... Uh, Frankie's being Frankie. <clears throat> Mind if I sit down? It's your bed. So much for sweet dreams. Read to me. A shadow fell across his face. He rolled his eyes to see what had come between him and the pale, bitter sun. A vulture with hooked talons and greedy beak hung in the air. You should see this picture. Its stony eyes meant his. Then it swooped and the titan writhed and screamed till the mountains cracked. Again and again the hungry bird flew at him and tore at his undefended liver. His agony had begun. from 
behind the prison bars. Once, there was a young boy who found himself inside a vulture's lair because he had been very, very bad. Yeah. <clears throat> At first, life of the boy was simply frightening. And frightening! Yeah. And frightening! <laughs> wondered aloud whether the nasty vulture might actually love him. The nasty vulture got such a shock to hear the young boy speak those words that he got up and he flew away. Leaving the young boy all alive. The young boy. He didn't know what to do. She's out of it, man. Time hit her over. He was pissed off. <laughs> It's me. See me. that on purpose. Tu me l'as fait fondre exprès, hein? I'm gonna take you back inside if you're gonna be like that. Maybe we should just cut it. No. It's almost four years to the day since I killed my best friend. Paulie. I ran him down in my car. I ran over him twice. See, that's meant to go through there. Right. Now hold that. Mm -hmm. Me, Susie and Paulie. 
were best mates. You know, they believed in each other. Me and Paulie were delivering some dope. We thought we knew what we were doing, but we fucked up big time. We'd been chased by these big guys with baseball bats. It was pissing down with rain. I couldn't see anything. I jumped in the car. I thought Paulie was beside me. He wasn't. I go to take off and reverse right over him. Fucking bang. I could hear the tyres, you know, go up over him. Heard him screaming my name. I panicked. I go went forward, you know. I didn't know what I was doing. I got out of the car, I could hear him moaning. You know, I could have got to him, but I choked. All I could think about is what those guys would do if they caught me. And so I ran. I left poorly on the side of the road like a fucking dog. When I came back later, he was still there. I slid on him. I ran right over the top of his head. His skull was completely smashed in. He had one eye open like he was winking, going, oh, good driving, mate. Yeah, nice driving, mate. And I just sat there all night in the rain. I was hoping he was going to get up. So let's go have a drink. Let's go home. There you go. Sorry, Rod, I didn't know you were in there. Just having a quick shave, yeah? It's all right. You're nearly part of the family now. May I? You could do with a quick shave, mate. Nah, <laughs> I haven't got the energy. Sit down. Sit down. I've always wanted to be a barber. to be able to dress it with one hand, prepare a meal with the other, powder my nose and juggle four balls. And now I get you to deliver the food, help Frankie to bed, give me a shave. feels like when you're killing time. She's my mother. It's you I'm talking about. 
me. You want more? I can see it. What about you? What do you want? I want you to get a life. I don't know. Why don't you get back on stage? <laughs> a real stage. Not this pretend show you and Frankie put on. But what a show, eh? Right? You're making me nervous. You sure me. <sighs> On stage. With hundreds of people. I know. I shouldn't be. It's what I like about you. Me too. What exactly? You get real situations. Grab them. Mangle them about until you turn them into something that suits. <laughs> it's simple magic. It's simple deceit. <laughs> you see what I mean? No. Maybe we should uh, go to the kitchen or something with Frankie trying to sleep. I think Frankie's way asleep. <laughs> Frankie never sleeps. I'm not used to this kind of thing. So. Tea? It's not something I expected.
Tu sei un vecchia vacca, ingrata ed egoista! Non avevi promesso, Roberto, di rispettare tuo padre. Ti occuperai di me fino al ritorno del mio Vincenzo. Cosa dirai tuo padre? Basta. Tuo padre è che ora? No, mamma. No, non c'è. Quando viene, cosa dirai? Maybe he's not coming back, mamma. Cosa? Cosa hai detto? Sconosciuti, sconosciuti, strangers, 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 they were strangers. The shadows stole my heart. La ra 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 ra, da ra ra da ra ra, da ra da ra ra ra, da ra ah ah ah. No, 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 sa da, gi de, gi de. Amming! Amming! Oh. Um, I'm looking for Stevie. Come in, Susie. How do you know it's me? I don't. Are you? What? Are you you? <laughs> What? Um, yeah, I'm me. I know, but the illusion can be very deceiving. Come in, meet the family. Stephen, Susanna, Equi, sleepyhead. E questa signora Francesca Amore. How's your French? Mama, je te présente Suzy. Italian? Good, good. The two of you should get on well together. You know I'm me. What? Rodney. Mm. Ah, Stephen. Can I get you a drink of water? I was just about to have a shower. She's a lovely girl. He's off his tree. Not really. He's just full of energy. to your boss, Peg. Yeah, she got me some help. Oh. That's good. Yeah. She's a nice lady. Yeah. She said that, um, you asked her to help me. Yeah. So where are you staying? Bindies. Not jealous, are ya? I'm found sorry you. about me. I found your bird man. Raven? Yeah, I know where he is. Where is he? He runs a pub somewhere in Sydney. Yeah, it's the address.
have to go out. Stephen, leave it. It won't be long. Are you and Stevie... You're not jealous, are you? What's wrong? What's wrong? I can't talk about it. Why not? Steve, what is it? There's someone in Sydney. Who? Someone I knew on the inside. What about him? Look, I can't talk about it. Maybe I can help. I doubt it. What's his name? Raven. Ooh, sounds nasty. You want to watch him? Do you want to see him? Maybe. Maybe you shouldn't. These shoes were made for walking, and that's what they're gonna do. What are you doing? I'll tramp them all around the world, and then I'll trample over you. Rod, shut up. Ali, Ali, Alo, Ali. I love to sing when I hike. I love to hike. Shut up. Ali, Ali, Alo, Ali. Someday I might get a bite. Oh, I'll fucking hit you. Wow. No. You're nuts. I'm mad. Well, don't stop it. I'll try to... Shut up. Ali, Ali. Stop it. Well, I've done... Someday I might get a bike. <laughs> <laughs> so you win. Yep. <laughs> You're a funny bugger. And I don't know what I am. You tell me funny, man. Who am I? Hey? What kind of man am I? You can be whatever, Stephen. With our imagination. We make the world. Don't suppose Rodney's made a decision about Frankie yet? I want to hold your breath. I told him to get back on stage. <laughs> yeah, in his dreams. Like he's ever been on a real stage. What do you mean? He's been on stage with his mum. He's been all over Europe and stuff. Europe? He's never even been to Europe. And on a stage with Frankie, like I said, maybe in his dreams. Of course he has. I've seen all the trophies and pictures. Look, I don't know what pictures and trophies you've seen, but... And he speaks all those languages. If she ever did any dancing, it was when she was a kid before she came to Australia. She might have done a bit in the clubs here, down the Central Coast, years ago. But... Bullshit. Stephen, when she came to Australia, she got polio. That's a physical disability. Then she had strokes, all kinds of stuff. I've seen her medical records. But he told me all those stories about when... He makes them up. For himself, for his mum, and anybody gullible enough to believe them. He's a classic backyard magician. I thought I made that clear to you. But... He went on an international tour. He said so. Rodney was 12 when Frankie got polio. He's basically been looking after her ever since. Well... I don't think he even finished high school. Why wouldn't he tell me that? 
Oh, it's not the kind of show they do, is it? I mean, who'd pay money to see that? I'll see you. On the count of three, that keep your eyes on the handle. No more games, Rodney. There's no room for doubt, Stephen. Three! You see? It's all about the thrower. You just have to lend him your hands. OK, two more to go. Why'd you tell me all those bullshit stories? You know, you shouldn't let Peggy Sue carry you away with all that fancy talk. What? One man's bullshit is another man's fertiliser, Stephen. Oh! Bullshit. Thanks, I really needed that. Oh, don't be fucking smart. Forty years I've been looking after Frank. Yeah, I've heard this story. That's a long time to try to remember what happened in your life. What you wanted to happen, what you were told happened, what really happened. She really did have the world in her hands. But she fell in love with a cheap con man. Get out of my face. She was pregnant. He brought her to Australia. And he left her all alone. No family, no money, and a baby boy. Me. Tell someone who gives a shit, Rodney. She had a dream, Stephen. We all have dreams. You've been lying, you fuck! <laughs> Can you imagine that she did that? Can you? What did she tell herself? What did she tell her son every day? Bullshit! Lies! Forty years I've dressed her, fed her, medicated her, entertained her, bathed her. And you're right, Steve. I am tired of bathing Frankie. <laughs> to soar like an eagle. It's just a dream. The other night. Was that a dream? No, that was us. Here and now. How can I believe you? Suspend your disbelief. That's what makes a good story. And you make a great audience. Well, how stupid does that make me? I was too busy being a great audience to see what was going on. Peg said there's a bed for Frankie in the nursing home now. I know what I'd be doing. I'm going to Sydney. Auntie Judy, come on, man. I'm your son.
he's gone. Papa's gone forever. Forever. Number 48. Hey, that's mine again. Hey, hey. going on, you open your eyes and look, so you open your fucking eyes now! Do I love me? You're asking me now?
What did you see in the big city? People trying to get on with their lives. Like me. You. Raven. I just wanted to know if what he'd done, what we'd done, was important. But all I saw was fear. The same fear I saw back then. And for a moment, we saw each other. Without any of the show. I left him to it and caught the train back. I knew you would. I knew you knew. Stephen... Mum was dead. It was gentle and peaceful, as it should be.